Academics are incredibly busy and also are sometimes anxious or even distrustful about talking to the media. So having a trusted broker like the Education Media Centre, who are also expert in education, can be a really valuable service. I've often had the opportunity to work with the Education Media Centre and what I find them very useful for is prompting me as a busy academic to actually provide a response, to intervene in a particular public debate, to provide the evidence. In the heat of political debate it's crucial the media have timely access to good solid evidence and that's what the Education Media Centre is here to provide because we all think we know things about education but sometimes it's just not that simple. For instance, maybe you thought the last big push for grammar schools brought a wave of social mobility. But as long ago as 1954, research showed the proportion of youngsters from poor backgrounds going to grammar school and qualifying for university was tiny, just one in 70. Maybe you think the latest plans for more selection will help raise standards. But international research shows early selection, before about the age of 16, actually leads to lower performance. Maybe you think a degree is worth a lot of money over a lifetime. But recent research shows the graduate wage premium depends heavily on what you study, where you study and what background you come from. Maybe you think synthetic phonics has raised reading standards. But a recent large-scale study found it made no difference to the average child by the age of 11. At the Education Media Centre we make sure the best evidence gets noticed. Our staff are trained journalists and we know what makes the media tick. When you're reporting on education there's no shortage of emotion and people talking about their own experiences and offering anecdotal evidence. But what often is lacking is research, proper analysis and evidence based on the bigger picture. And that's when it's useful to be able to turn to something like the Education Media Centre, which can deliver academic information, academic evidence in a way that informs the story and puts some light uh, on top of the heat that might be there. In our first two years, our experts were quoted around 500 times in the national, international and regional media. We helped education researchers secure coverage with almost every major news organisation in the UK and some international ones too. The Education Media Centre is much more than just a matchmaker between media and academic researchers. We're establishing firmer links with the educational world so that researchers and practitioners feel confident talking to journalists and others. There's been so much change in education recently, but we're not very good at collecting evidence about what works. And if teaching matters so much, why wouldn't we want our teachers to have the best evidence about what would work in their classroom? That's why I support the Education Media Centre in its work to make sure that evidence makes news. We want to help build stronger schools, colleges and universities, where learning's based on the best available research. If you want that too, please give us your support now.